Why this Chinese tea costs more than $184,000 per kilogram? Glass Belly Tea Lab, a fine dining restaurant in Hong Kong, has just begun a sumptuous three-course afternoon tea. Patrons are drawn to this dark, wood-paneled space in the city's bustling Causeway Bay neighborhood by the eight glasses of tea on offer. It's a unique and modern way to sample tea. Please have a sniff, the server says. With the cognac glass, you can get a better sense of the fruit's aroma. The burgundy glass brings out more floral flavors. But I'm here on a mission to discover why a few handfuls of certain types of Chinese tea leaves can cost thousands of dollars. Glass Belly specializes in Wuyu Oolong Rock Tea, which is one of the most expensive tea varieties on the market. It's a type of oolong tea that grows on rocks in the Wuyi Mountains of eastern China. Hence the name rock tea. This region's famous rock tea varieties include Rough Wei, Da Hong Pao, and Shrizian, which translate to cinnamon, big red robe, and narcissus, respectively. The new Lian Keng Rough Wei, a rare variety of Rough Wei tea from the same named Valley Brook in the Wuyi Mountains, is Glass Belly's most prized item. At the time of writing, the retail price was for five six o dollar for 25 grams or 184,615 dollars dollar for a kilogram at the restaurant one brew of the tea costs three five seven seven dollar to put this into perspective a small 150 up to 200 milliliter pot of tea typically contains about five grams of tea leaves tea auctions Rare teas have long commanded exorbitant prices in China. This isn't a new phenomenon. In 2002, 20 grams of Da Hong Pao, a Wuyi mountain tea once reserved for the emperor's lips only, were auctioned off in Guangzhou for $28,000. A 100-gram Taiping Haokui and Wei green tea was auctioned off for $31,300 in Jinan in 2009. Making sense of Chinese tea. Let's start with the fundamentals. Green, white, yellow, oolong, black tea and dark tea are the six main types of Chinese tea. They are classified based on how the leaves are processed and how long they are fermented. Green tea is unfermented, whereas dark tea is fermented twice. There are various tea varieties named for a variety of reasons under each category. It could be the area where it was harvested. Pure tea, for example, can only be found in certain areas of Yunnan. The leaves are also important. Lapsang Sushong uses the entire tea leaf, whereas Jinjun Mei only uses the leaves buds. To understand why some teas are expensive, you must first understand what a good tea is, says Wing Yang, founder of Glass Belly. Despite the fact that tea is one of the most popular beverages in the world, answering this question is surprisingly difficult. One major issue with Chinese tea is that there is no objective definition of what constitutes good tea. When it comes to selling tea, there are many sentimental stories and artistic elements, but so little about the actual flavors of the tea, says Young, who has also worked in the wine industry. Specializing in Burgundy Consider wine and coffee, both of which are plant-derived beverages, that have performed far better in the commercial market than Chinese tea. In comparison to wine or coffee, the market for tea is less transparent, making it more difficult for consumers to understand how much and why a particular type of tea should cost. Yang claims that her team has poured approximately $5 million in tea in the last decade in the pursuit of an answer to that question, leading them to open Glass Belly in 2021. Yang hopes that her Glass Belly restaurant, with its modern and scientific approach to tea, will help shed some light on the market. 
Although the tea industry has evolved, the selling method has remained unchanged since 1,000 years. There were many hushed business meetings and secret deals, Yong explains. The flavor wheel. Yang has accumulated thousands of tasting notes after a decade of traveling between Hong Kong and mainland China, mostly to Wei Mountain to create glass bellis version of a flavor wheel for Chinese tea. Wei tea is the burgundy of teas, with a great deal of complexity. It is a war tea not fully fermented in the industry, so it changes in your glass as well as in your mouth, Yong explains. There are over a dozen different flavor profiles in rock teas, but there are a few that you should look for, citrus, sandalwood and cinnamon. One glass belly workshop invites attendees to compare raw and aged pure tea, which is highly sought after by tea connoisseurs. The aroma of raw pure tea is similar to that of plums. Some would say that the smell of camphor mothballs and old newspaper in aged pure tea is normal. However, if you taste it objectively, your body will naturally repel these odors. I believe it is a good indication that it is not a good tea, as marketers have claimed Yang explains. It's the aroma of a pure tea that has been aged in an unnatural way by adding humidity to hasten the aging process. It is a common practice in the industry, but that does not make it good.